Discerning Hearts presents In Search of the Still Point with Dr. Regis Martin. In episode 34, Dr. Martin reflects on Life, so startling there is no time for anything else. In his fantastical account of the unthinkable theory of Professor Green, Mr. G.K. Chesterton invites the reader to imagine an astronomer regaling his audience in great and gorgeous detail about a strange new planet he's just discovered. Only gradually does the audience realize that this utterly amazing place is in fact our very own world, replete with wonders we'd scarcely been aware of before. Isn't this the whole point of travel? Not heaven knows to poke around places so entirely exotic or people so positively weird that you'd swear you'd wandered onto a sci-fi movie set? Do we really want to run into a village of pod people while on holiday? Wasn't it bad enough watching The Night of the Living Dead on television? Who needs a close encounter with the real thing in the middle of a vacation? Again, Chesterton has the sense of it. It is not, he tells us, to set foot on foreign land. It is to set foot on one's own country as a foreign land. And isn't this the challenge that awaits us all? How to rivet the attention sufficiently to allow us to stand in wonder before the real world. When jadedness sets in, we need a sudden jolt to get the circuits going again, to stir the juices. We need to open up the hood and let the wind sweep out all that is sour and stale on the inside. Indeed, without that wonderment, we will never awaken to what Gerard Manley Hopkins calls the dearest freshness, deep down things. But really, how much of it can one handle? It must be a gift of evolution, writes the poet Robert Haas, that humans cannot sustain wonder. We would never have gotten up from our knees if we could. Why, we would then be like Chesterton, who never stopped being as wide-eyed as a child. Everything he looked at was luminous, positively awash in the light and the warmth of another. The mere fact of existence was enough to set his heart on fire. A child of seven, he tells us in orthodoxy, is excited by being told that Tommy opened a door and saw a dragon. But a child of three is excited by being told that Tommy opened a door. By the grace of God, Chesterton would always open that door, never having outgrown the child of three. So, too, in her own peculiar and reclusive way, the poet Emily Dickinson, who thought of life as something so startling that it leaves, she said, little time for any other occupation. Imagine life lived at that pitch, an intensity of attention, no less, paid to each passing moment. So what happens when we are no longer capable of being startled? We're dead, dead, dead. St. Thomas Aquinas tells us that every existence as such is good. A courtesy he extends even to the devils, inasmuch as they too exist, however much they do so on sufferance, which is to say, from God from he who alone is, so that from God's uncreated being, everything else in the universe is forced to borrow. Yes, even the demons, for all that they are determined to destroy the order of being. Because they cannot vaporize being, they can never finally defeat the good, even as they rail in bitter, blackest despair against it. There is a fact, so startling, it seems to me, 
as to leave one breathless with amazement. In his commentary on the metaphysics of Aristotle, St. Thomas reminds us that there is a commonality between the poet and the philosopher, and that point of unity is wonder, mirandum, the ability to marvel at that which is, yet need not be, which is, for that reason, truly marvelous. Thanks for listening. This is Regis Martin in search of the still point. You've been listening to Dr. Regis Martin in search of the still point. For more episodes in this series, visit discerninghearts.com or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app or on many other streaming platforms. Discerning Hearts is a 501c3 nonprofit Catholic apostolate dedicated to evangelization and spiritual formation through the use of new media. To learn how you can support our mission, visit discerninghearts.com.